Imagine if future events could influence the past. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, right? Well, welcome to the world of retro causality and quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics, for those scratching their heads, is a branch of physics that delves into the behavior of particles at the quantum level. It's like peeking into the secret lives of atoms and subatomic particles. On the other hand, retrocausality is an intriguing concept that turns our understanding of time on its head. It suggests that it's not always past events shaping the future. Sometimes the future has a say in what happens in the past. Yes, you heard it right. While this concept is still under exploration and not widely accepted, it's opening up exciting possibilities and questions in the world of physics. So, buckle up as we dive into this fascinating realm of physics. Quantum mechanics, in simple terms, is the study of the tiniest particles in the universe. But don't let the word tiny fool you. These minuscule particles, they pack a punch, and their behavior can be quite startling to say the least. Let's start with the concept of wave-particle duality. Imagine, if you will, a tennis ball. You can hold it, bounce it, throw it, it's definitely a particle, right? Now think of the ocean waves continuously flowing and crashing onto the shore. That's a wave, isn't it? In the world of quantum mechanics, particles such as electrons and photons can behave like both. Yes, you heard it right. They can be both a particle and a wave. Just like your favorite superhero leading a double life, these particles can switch roles based on the situation. Then, there's the principle of superposition. Picture a coin spinning in the air. While it's spinning, it's neither heads nor tails. It's both. It's only when the coin lands does it become one or the other. Similarly, a quantum particle exists in multiple states at once like Schrodinger's infamous cat, both alive and dead until observed. It's when we decide to take a peek, the particle chooses its state. Mind-boggling, isn't it? Quantum mechanics also introduces the principle of entanglement. Picture a pair of gloves. If you find the left glove, you instantly know that the other one is a right glove, irrespective of how far away it is. In quantum mechanics, two particles can become entangled, behaving as one entity, no matter the distance between them. A change in one instantaneously affects the other. It's like having a twin who feels your joy and pain, even from a galaxy far, far away. So, quantum mechanics challenges our everyday understanding of reality. But wait until you hear about retrocausality. It's going to take our understanding of time and causality and turn it on its head. Retrocausality, as the name suggests, is the idea that the future can influence the past. Let's take a moment to unpack this seemingly paradoxical concept. In the world of quantum mechanics, retrocausality is a theoretical proposition. It presents a fascinating twist to our conventional understanding of cause and effect, where we usually expect the past to shape the future, not the other way around. But quantum mechanics often pushes us to question the usual and explore the extraordinary. Now it's important to clarify that retrocausality doesn't mean we're sending signals or messages back in time, like some sci-fi movie plot. No, it's a bit subtler than that. Retrocausality involves changes in the variables of a system that occur before a choice is made by an experimenter. In simpler words, it's as if the system knows ahead of time what choice will be made and adjusts itself accordingly. Consider a simple coin toss. You flip a coin and before it lands you decide to call heads or tails. Now imagine if the coin somehow knew your call before you made it and adjusted its outcome accordingly. That's a very loose analogy, but it gives you an idea of what we're talking about when we refer to retrocausality. This concept is not widely accepted within the scientific community as of yet, mostly because it challenges our fundamental understanding of time and causality. However, some physicists, including Matthew Liefer, Matthew Pusey, Ken Wharton, and Hugh Price, have been exploring its potential implications and trying to incorporate it into the framework of quantum mechanics. Sounds mind-bending, doesn't it? Let's see how this concept fits into quantum mechanics. The incorporation of retrocausality into quantum mechanics is a fascinating exploration. As we delve deeper into the world of quantum mechanics, we encounter a concept that seems straight out of a science fiction novel, retrocausality. This idea suggests that future states can influence past events, essentially flipping our conventional understanding of time on its head. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the audacity of this proposition. We're talking about the future affecting the past. It's a concept that challenges our fundamental understanding of causality, the principle that cause precedes effect. And yet, in the quantum realm, this may be a possibility. Physicists like Matthew Liefer, Matthew Pusey, Ken Wharton and Hugh Price have started to incorporate retrocausality into their understanding of quantum mechanics. They believe it could explain some of the non-local correlations observed in Bell tests. In these tests, 
particles that are entangled, or connected in a quantum sense, seem to affect each other instantly, no matter the distance between them. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein famously called it, has long puzzled physicists. But if retro-causality is thrown into the mix, it could provide a fresh perspective on these puzzling phenomena. However, it's important to note that retro-causality is not widely accepted in the scientific community. It's a fringe theory, an outlier in the world of quantum physics. Many scientists argue that it's an unnecessary complication, a convoluted solution to a problem that might have simpler explanations. Furthermore, there's currently no empirical evidence to support the idea of retro-causality. Nonetheless, it's a concept that refuses to be ignored, persisting on the edges of quantum theory, pushing boundaries and challenging norms. While it's still a topic of debate, the concept of retro-causality definitely adds a new dimension to our understanding of quantum mechanics. Imagine a world where the future can influence the past, where cause and effect are not strictly linear. It's a thrilling if somewhat mind-bending prospect and who knows, perhaps in the future we'll find that retrocausality is more than just a theoretical curiosity. Only time will tell. Now you might be wondering what's the big deal about retrocausality? Well, it could potentially change our understanding of reality. Retrocausality, if proven, could shake the very foundations of how we perceive time and causality. It's like being handed a novel where the last page can rewrite the first one. It's a mind-bending concept that can alter our perspective of past, present, and future. One of the most tantalizing implications of retro-causality is the potential advancement in understanding time travel. Imagine a world where future events could influence the past. It sounds straight out of a science fiction novel, right? But in the realm of quantum physics, it's a possibility that can't be outright dismissed. Retrocausality could provide a theoretical framework for understanding how time travel might work, challenging our conventional wisdom about the unidirectional flow of time. But it's not just about time travel. The concept of retrocausality could also spur the development of new technologies. In the quantum world, particles can exist in multiple states at once, a concept known as superposition. Retrocausality could potentially allow us to manipulate these superpositions in ways we can't even begin to imagine yet. This could lead to breakthroughs in quantum computing, cryptography, and communication technologies, opening up a world of possibilities. However, it's important to remember that retrocausality is still a contentious idea, not widely accepted in the scientific community. Further work is needed to refine the fundamentals and gather empirical evidence. The road to understanding retrocausality is fraught with challenges and uncertainties. But isn't that the case with any revolutionary idea? The path to discovery is often winding and steep, but it's the journey that makes the destination worthwhile. While we are far from fully grasping this concept, the journey of exploration is incredibly exciting. The world of quantum physics continues to amaze and baffle us, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. And who knows, maybe one day, retrocausality will be more than just a fascinating theory. Only time will tell. So there you have it. A glimpse into the mind-bending world of retrocausality and quantum mechanics. We've journeyed through the mysterious landscapes of quantum mechanics, exploring its intricate workings. We've delved into the concept of retrocausality, a theory that proposes future states affecting past events, challenging our perception of time. We've seen how some physicists are considering the incorporation of retrocausality into quantum mechanics and the potential mechanisms that could explain the non-local correlations observed in Bell tests. We've also discussed the potential impact of this concept. While retrocausality is not widely accepted in the scientific community, it raises intriguing questions and could lead to advancements in understanding time travel and the development of new technologies. It's a theory that might seem out of a sci-fi movie, but it's indeed a part of the scientific discourse happening today. What are your thoughts on retrocausality and quantum mechanics? Do share your views in the comment box. We love hearing from you. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.